Many Arizonans are expressing outrage today over plans for a protest at Christina Green's funeral. Green was the youngest victim of Saturday's rampage in Tucson. The controversial church has announced plans to stage a protest at her funeral Thursday. Westboro Baptist Church has become notorious for using funerals to publicize the notion that God is punishing America for tolerating homosexuals. A member of the Arizona House of Representatives has drafted legislation that is designed to protect mourners by keeping protesters 300 feet away. Backers hope to rush it through the legislature so that the governor can sign it today. The protest plans are drawing, of course, widespread criticism from across Arizona's political spectrum. CNN's John King spoke with representatives from the Republicans and Democrats and the Tea Party. The Westboro Baptist Church might try to come here. Do we think that's true? Well, you want to talk about unity. I, I would, I, Jeff and I already talked about this, and I would just advise uh, any organization who's going to come to protest, to, to, to be an obstacle to, to letting these families and our community grieve, uh, don't bother because we will stand together to ensure uh, that you're not heard. Yeah, I, I think you'll see that across the board here. Uh, the first thing that's going to happen is the legislature is trying to pass a law to outlaw that, but I think it's generally suspect. My legal opinion is that it's uh, these kinds of laws are prior restraints of speech type activities, and uh, it's pending before the U.S. Supreme Court right now. And I, I'm. I'm not sure that will pass constitutional muster. But have you heard they're coming? Uh, we've heard they're coming, yes. And uh, uh, But I, I agree, we need to let these people uh, grieve in dignity and, uh, and, and have orderly funeral processions. And we'll work to make sure that happens and do everything we can together to make that happen, I think. And we can get the people together to do something like that to help out. That's something we can all do. It's not just political leaders voicing outrage about the Westboro protest plans. Some Tucson citizens are planning something that they call angel action. They're using bed sheets to make angel wings, and they're planning to use those wings to shield mourners from the protest. Tucson community activist Kristen Gilmer is part of the angel action group, and she joins us again from Tucson. Um, tell me, I'm wondering if you confront or if you come up against these people, and I have in, in various stories that I've covered, uh, they're quite aggressive, they're quite loud, and uh, in many ways they're quite obscene. And I'm wondering how you personally would deal with that. Well, it's not just me. It's all of the 30 angels that we're going to have, as well as the rest of the people who will be lining the streets to block them. So we're actually going to have a training tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And we're going to talk about meditation, um, nonviolent techniques, nonverbal techniques. But we're not going to speak. This isn't about us. This is about the families. And this is about us letting them grieve and mourn in peace and letting our community heal. So it's up to us to determine our actions. We can't do anything about Westboro coming. And if they do, I'm sorry to say, but they won't, they, they won't come with a warm reception. So we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that they don't get their message heard. And it's up to us to, to not retaliate. And I'm confident in Tucson's volunteers and our community and our families that we won't do anything to, to hinder what the family is going through right now. We're going to try to protect them as much as possible. Do you know of other groups that are coming to your aid, in other words, wanting to join the effort you're trying to do? a lot of groups throughout all of Tucson. Um, we've had support from U of A Pride Alliance. A, a, a lady named Kat Sinclair at U of A has done a tremendous job doing logistics and coordinating and help us out. Uh, we've worked with Breakout Studios in Tucson, Arizona, who is lending us their space for the training and any other support we need. I've had hundreds and hundreds of emails from people around the world and around the country who are trying to donate money. Businesses like Home Depot and Ace Hardware in Tucson have given us supplies to help make the wings. There's a lot of groups. On Facebook, there was four or five created on Sunday once we found out that Westboro was coming. So all of these groups are working in unison now in order to prevent these hateful messages from being spewed. So luckily there's a lot of coordinating and just a beautiful amount of community unity and working together.